it's always difficult to talk about oneself uh, in an objective manner, but uh, I've had a career which started in Turkey. I had all of my uh, secondary education and my university education in Turkey. So we were born just at the end of those years. Uh, my sister in 43, myself in 45, and we grew up in that period right after the war when a lot of things were difficult to find. My father was a banker uh, with a Turkish bank called uh, Turkey Ishbankesse, and he was appointed to run a branch of the bank in Alexandria in Egypt. So I had the chance also to live in Egypt uh, and to see the kind of environment in Alexandria, which at that time was very international. And then I went to the US to get a PhD. So I was an assistant professor at the um, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, which was an interesting university and still is. In those days, the head of the computer science department, where I was hired to work as an assistant professor, was one of the actual signatories, actually the inventors, of what is known as the von Neumann machine. The von Neumann machine is the initial model of computation which has been implemented in today's computers. So the von Neumann machine is the best basic template, the basic model, uh, conceptual model for all the computers that we use. It was very interesting for me to be in an environment where the person who was head of department was actually the first author of the first paper describing what we call computers today. So that was a revealing experience. At that time, uh, with the Fulbright Fellowship. I was not allowed to stay totally in the U.S. more than five years. And uh, I returned to the other side of the Atlantic and joined um, an institute in France called IRIA those days. My drive for looking at problems has always been to understand what is going on, to look at a situation and try to understand it, both theoretically in terms of mathematics, but also to see how it can be done better through practical approaches. So this has been always my curiosity. Uh, why is it like that? Uh, how can we explain it? How can we make it better? And how can it actually happen in practice? Most of my real successes, they have been driven by a strong sense of failure. But on this particular aspect that I'm curious about, I know I'm failing. And by failing repeatedly, at the end, I find a way out. So I think that one aspect that people have to understand is that success is the result of failure. So first of all, you really have to fail. And as you fail and you are self-critical, you find the way out. My work includes science, essentially mathematical science, and includes very often direct applications uh, in technology. So I think I got the award because of this dual characteristic of science and technology in the information sciences, in computers, in the field of computer science, communication science, and areas which involve uh, information technology. The way uh, the uh, prize is set up is, is wonderful. I think uh, it, it currently focuses on areas which have a strong technological content, which is probably correct in terms of you know, the priorities. I think that uh, the prize, as it is now, with the double aspect of science and practicality, is quite original and interesting as a new contribution to the way to look at things. You know, don't think just about science, don't think just about technology and making money. Look at the links between science and technology and look at the interplay. دومین دوره جایزه مصطفی صلی الله علیه و آله و سلم